Hello mathematicians. Today we're going to look at the last section in chapter 2 and it's all about finding the area and perimeter of similar figures. Now so far this chapter we talked about um, dilating figures, making them either larger or smaller. But what happens to the area or the perimeter of these figures when you dilate the figure? So we're going to make a chart and then we're going to use our pieces that we cut out the first day in class tomorrow to kind of demonstrate all this. So just basically we're going to copy down the chart, <clears throat> excuse me, in our composition books today. So I'm going to give you a second to fill, uh, excuse me, just to write this chart on page 19 in your composition book and then we'll start filling stuff in. But I'll give you a second here. Okay, hopefully you, you've had enough time to fill that in. So we know with our scale factor that we always multiply our scale factor. So let's say I've got an original shape and I want to double the size of that shape. Well, double we know means times two. So if I double the side length of the shape, then I'm actually also just doubling the perimeter. So the perimeter is just going to be times 2. But let's think about the area. When we think about area, that's length times width of rectangular shapes. So I'm not just doubling the area, but I'm actually squaring it. So instead of just times 2, it's times 2 squared, and I wrote that wrong. It's times 2 squared, which is the same as times 4. So I take my scale factor and square it to figure out what I'm going to multiply by to get my new area. I'll let that soak in just a bit. Now let's talk about, let's say that we triple the size. So we're going to triple the size of our side lengths. And that's times 3, and I'll use the dot from now on. So if I triple the side of the side length, what's going to happen to the perimeter? I triple the size of the perimeter, because we're only talking about the distance around, which is all the sides. But when we talk about the area, we're talking about the squares. So it's actually going to be times 3 squared, which equals times 9. So my original area times 9 will be the area of the new figure that's tripled in size. Now let's talk about reductions. Both of those are enlargements. Let's talk about a reduction. Let's say if I um, go half the size, and that's the same as times one half. So if I take half the size of the sides of my figures, then the perimeter is going to be half the perimeter. But what about area? I'm still going to have to square the scale factor. So I write it times one half in parentheses squared. And think real quickly, what is one half squared or one half times one half? And that is the same thing as times one fourth. And we're going to look at the shapes again that we cut out in class and see how this fits together. Now let's say that our um, scale factor is k, because that's how mathematically we symbolize the scale factor, and that's k. So what's going to happen to my perimeter if my scale factor is k? I'm just going to multiply it by k. But what's going to happen to my area if my scale factor is k? I think you got it right. We're going to multiply it by k squared to find the new area.
again in class tomorrow. I hope you have this chart written down because we're going to need to um, look at it, but we're also going to look at those examples that we cut out of the pie and the cereal box and the starburst wrapper, and we're going to prove that this chart is true. But I want you to have these notes down before we do that.